So guys, when you have friends like Jesse McNeil who just decides, hey, I'm going to give you every possible beer I can. Jess, That's Jesse's amazing. bringing the heat. He brings Jesse the heat. Jesse is cash money with yeah. the beer trade. And he knew Mexican cake was coming up, and he saw that it was on our top 10 list of beers to try, and he said, I'm getting you some Mexican cake. So today we're bringing you Westbrook's Mexican cake. Glub, 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 glub. <sighs> this beer, I think, speaks for itself. It's really, really popular. And about a year ago, it was going through just this massive blow oh, yeah. up. I mean, yeah. everyone wanted a piece of that Mexican cake. And if you don't know what Mexican cake is, it's like a Mexican stout. So we've had one on the show at like way, back, way back. Back when we had the, the red background. Yeah, going, in our, in our uh, infancy, we had a uh, Clown Shoes Mexican Sombrero, which yeah, was really, really good. good. So a Mexican, uh, a Mexican stout has cinnamon, uh, chilies, and then the rest of your stouty stout materials. Some so, cocoa nibs, yeah. little vanilla beans going on in here. So, I mean, it sounds like they put everything good possible into a stout. I, I can't wait. I want to start just putting my nose into this and see what this really has to offer. So let's uh, take a sniff. All right. That's, wow. <laughs> that smells fantastic already. That packs a massive punch right off the bat. Now I get tons of vanilla, uh, more than I thought I would, oh and a nice gosh. chocolatey kind of kind of like milk chocolate going on too. Dark roasted grains. It smells smooth. It's punching you in the face, but at the same time, it's not one of those like alcoholic punches. It has cake quality to it. Like it smells <laughs> like cake. And I think that's from the vanilla, but it's it's almost like a soaked rum cake. Like okay. you can smell like the booziness in yeah, it. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely a boozy essence to the aroma, but the cinnamon I feel like is subdued a little it's bit, a little but, it's, but it's, it's definitely packed with vanilla aroma. It smells like yeah. a vanilla cake. I mean, it's awesome. Yeah, I get a lot of coffee. Again, the chocolate in there as well. I shouldn't I I'm not I'm not getting any pepper, uh, which is a little bit surprising because it says that there's what habanero in here, right? Uh it, it, yeah, habanero. Right. right. So yeah, it's right. habanero, so I'm expecting a little bit of a kick, which will be well, nice, but I don't get much of a pepper aroma, which is good because usually I think they smell like feet. Okay. I'm pretty freaking pumped, Corey. I can't even talk. I'm pumped for Mexican cake. Let's do it. I'm excited. Cheers. <laughs> There's the pepper. Yes. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> and I found it. Found it. That's like the first thing that I kind of get in the back of the throat, but it's definitely not too spicy. Habanero scalpin's way hotter. Oh, um, oh yeah. Wait, yeah. This has just has a, a whole a different little experience. little hint, which is great. I actually love it. I mean, I'm pretty impressed by this beer. Yeah. It does have dat mouthfeel dough. It's got a really great feel to it. I love that spice. I just keep going back to it because that really shines. It's it's lacking a little bit of the robust stoutness that I was sort of anticipating. Mm -hmm. Not that they're the same beer, but just as a point of reference, like Bourbon County, that is like that is like stout. Like it's right. it's hearty and and like it's almost chewy. Yeah. This one has a great mouthfeel, but it's, it, it is lacking just a bit of that robust punch. Yeah, I hear you. I can't even get to the like auxiliary flavors that you're describing because I'm really just focusing on that really nice burn. I'm trying to pull out cinnamon, and it's like at the very, very end, I get a little cinnamon. I kind of get that, that Coca-Cola flavor, though, as well. A, a big burst of vanilla, maybe some like fudginess, but really... It's not as bold as I expected it to be. And maybe that's the whole the old hype machine telling me that this is letting me down because it's a delicious beer. But I think people uh, might have went a little crazier than they should have before this one. Do you want me to go first so you can have a little bit more time to think? I think I have a number. Okay. I want to hear yours. All right. I might be letting down a little bit of the, uh, the beer population with this one. I'm going to go 93. Uh, I think when I came into this, I, I even told Ron, I said, we might have to clear some space on our double hundred shelf for this. I think it's really, really, really good, but it's not mind blowing. I was going to go like 91, like 91 nah, but uh, I kind of like 93. That feels, that feels good. So <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go 93 as well. It's really good. It's really interesting. It's really fun. It does lack some of those things that I think we really want in our yeah. in our in our top tier elite stouts. Yeah, just a little bit more of the stouty flavor. Which as I'm as I'm saying it, that just oozes with Douche. snobbery. Yeah. <laughs> but on a on a fair, just objective rating, I feel like the spiciness overpowers the rest of what's going on in there. And so as a spice beer, it's awesome. All right, well, if you guys have had the chance to get lucky enough to have someone like uh, Jesse who sends us beers like this, and you can get your hands on a Mexican cake, 
Let us know what you think of it in the comment section below. I'm sure a lot of you have. I had feel it. like this is going to get some comments. I feel yeah. like we're going against the grain here. So I'm yeah, interested. I think we're shooting a little lower than most people. Would get. I'm interested to hear what y'all have to say about it. And uh, always remember, we're the review crew. We will review a brew for you. Cheers. Cheers. Guys, Johnny from Bottle Caps and Corks hooked us up with some awesome bottle cap wearable memorabilia. They're yeah. magnets or buttons that you can put on your shirt or anywhere that you like to display those. We collect bottle caps ourselves, so it's awesome. If you'd like some bottle caps, we're just making it rain bottle caps. If you want some bottle caps and corks, bottle cap magnets or buttons, all you got to do is leave us a five-star review on our iTunes podcast, and we're going to hook you up with some complimentary bottle cap buttons from Bottle Caps and Corks. Thanks, Johnny, for the product, and we will see you next time.